Hi, I'm Coach Rob. In this video, I want to discuss hierarchy number four in the elements that are relevant to your health, wellness, and performance. And that is the subject of exercise. When you look at the first three dominoes that we put together, it was the, the need to quench thirst, the ability to get enough food to support sleep and exercise, and then the third component being sleep itself. When we look at exercise, the thing that you have to remember are what we call the three components, and that is duration, frequency, and intensity. And here's why. When you are subjecting the body to exercise, which it's designed to do, the body prefers to be put into motion on a regular basis and subjected to what we call load. That would be some kind of aerobic exercise and or some weight bearing exercise like weight lifting or body weight exercises. However, there's a fine line that if you train too hard, i.e. intensity, you're going to be overstressing the body and actually breaking it down to the point that exercise itself becomes counterproductive. If you work with me in any capacity, you know that I'm a big advocate of the heart rate monitor. In fact, it's the only thing that I require that an athlete purchase when it comes to exercise. With that being said, you want to make sure that you have your own specific heart rate zones relevant to this, this sport and exercise that you're doing. Heart rate zones change by discipline based on how much muscle tissue is being utilized. So the first thing we do is look at intensity. The second thing that we look at is duration. There's a fine line between pushing the body to a level of adaptation and then pushing it so far that it actually breaks down to a point that it struggles to recover. Why does it struggle to recover? Go back to the first couple hierarchy elements, food and sleep. The thing I cannot emphasize enough is exercise itself does not make you stronger, it does not make you leaner. Eating and sleeping are the two key components associated with becoming leaner. Now when we get to the third element, frequency, that's where utilizing a performance coach is very, very helpful because as a performance coach, what I do is I look at what is your residual fatigue from the first day of the week to the last day of the week. With my clients, we work Monday through Sunday. Some coaches like to work Sunday through Saturday. How that's set up is between you and your coach. But the thing that I want you to understand is if you end up getting the frequency too many times during the week, we tip the scales and now the body starts to go into a mode of what we call a, a catabolic breakdown mode. The two words relevant to that are anabolic, which is growth, catabolic, which is breaking down. The idea behind exercise is yes, you want to subject the body to enough load, duration, and intensity to get what we call an adaptation, but we don't want it to be where the frequency of that high intensity training, high load levels is so frequent that the body doesn't get a chance to break, uh, excuse me, doesn't get a chance to rejuvenate itself. Now, if you're interested, I have a resource tool that I'll be happy to email you. It's a tool that we utilize to evaluate biofeedback indicators. What we do is we look at the resting heart rate in the morning with an empty bladder. We look at your body weight in the morning with an empty bladder. We document how many hours of sleep. And then we look at your body weight again before you go to sleep. If you want a copy of that, please email our office. Our email address is contact at coachrob.com. And with that resource tool, what you can do is you could evaluate if your body is not getting enough sleep and food to support the element of exercise. And with that being said, I hope you see how all of these hierarchy elements come into one cohesive unit. I do appreciate you watching this series. Again, we have lots of resources available for you. Please don't hesitate to email us at contact at We'll be happy to answer any and all questions you may have.